to hack code. In this video, we dive into the lead code problem, binary tree, layer travel cell. This problem challenges your understanding of tree travel cell algorithms and data structures. Let's dive in. So, given the root of a binary tree, return the level order travel cell of its nodes values. So, that is from the left to right, level by level. So, the task here is to traverse a binary tree level by level from left to right, and the goal is to return the level order travel cell of its nodes values, grouped by its level basically. So let's see the example one here. The first is three, next is nine comma 20, and next is 15 comma seven. So in example two, the root is one, so the level order traversal output is one. So in example three, the root is empty list, so we return the empty list. So let's look at the constraints here. The number of nodes in the tree are in the inclusive range of zero to 2000, and the nodes value is in the inclusive range of minus 1000 to 1000. So here we're gonna use a BFS. BFS is an uh, ideal strategy for tree traversal when you need to explore nodes level by level. This method uses the queues to hold nodes of a tree, ensuring a systematic visitation based on the order they are encountered. So let's look at the algorithm. So we start by initializing a queue with a root node and provided the root is not null. So if the root is null, we return an empty list as there are no nodes to process. And then initialize an empty list called a result that will store the list of nodes values from the each level. The next is iterative processing. So while the queue is not empty, calculate the number of nodes at the current level. This is determined by the current size of the queue. And the next is to create a temporary list to hold the node values for the current level. Third is node processing. Basically for each node in the current level, we look to the number of nodes calculated in the previous step. And then we, the first here is to remove the node from the front of the queue and then record its value by adding to the temporary list. Next is to check for the left and the right children. So if the left child exists, add it to the queue. If the right child exists, add it to the queue. Next is to append to the result. So after passing all the nodes at the current level, add the temporary list to the result list. So next is the repetition. So basically continue the above steps until the queue is empty, indicating that all levels have been processed. Now last is to return the result. So once the queue is empty, we return the result list containing the values from the each level. So let's look at the flowchart. So here we start with initializing a queue with root and then check if the root is done. So if yes, return the empty list. If no, we initialize the result list and then uh, we just process until the queue is not empty. So first step is to dequeue de uh, de the node from the front and then add the node value to the current level list and then we enqueue the left shell of if exists. Similarly, we enqueue the right shell if exists because we need to travel from left to right, right. So first we processing left shell and then right shell. Uh, next is we check if all nodes are the current level or processed. If yes, then we add the current level to the result list. Uh, and then we check if, again if the queue is empty. So if yes, we return the result list. If no, we repeat the process from the while loop. So let's look at the diagram here. So here, uh, we see here there's a first level, second level, and third level. And then uh, we start with initializing the uh, queue with the root node. So that is three. And then uh, the first level with processes like we begin with the node three in the queue. So we dequeue the queue and noted children uh, 920. So we have the current level list is three because we have uh, only three in this uh, level is a root level. And then uh, next we enqueue 920 because we, uh, three still exists. So we uh, enqueue in the order like uh, from left to right. And then at the end of the level one, the result is this one, list of lists, that is three only. Next uh, the second level. So basically uh, we start with the nodes 9 and 20 in the queue and then we dequeue the nine, which has no children. And then we dequeue 20. Uh, no, note it has the children 15 and 17 here, right? So, and then the current list is like 920 and then we enqueue the 15 and 17 because we have the children for 20. And then at the end of the level two, the result is uh, three comma 920. Basically, the this is like, uh, up, this holds the result up to this level. And then next is third level. The third level we have is 5, 15 comma seven. So we just start with the nodes 15 and seven in the queue and then we dequeue the 15 and seven uh, without both without further children, right? So at the current level list, we have uh, 15 and seven, and then the queue is now empty. So at the end of the level three, the result is this one, uh, three, 920 and 15, seven. So now the queue is empty. The function returns the complete level order traversal, this one. So this is the final result. So let's look into the code here. For the uh, DQ from the collections module, and then uh, we start with the solution here. This is the function given uh, in the lead code. We just fill it if the root is null or empty. So this checks the case. Uh, we're just checking if not root and then we return the empty list in both cases if it is a null or empty list. And then the next is we uh, just uh, have a uh, variable declared for result and then we uh, initialize the queue with the root node. So and then we just process till the queue is not empty. So first we initialize the lev uh, level size variable using the length of the queue. And then we just declare a variable for holding the current level nodes, right? 
and then we just process all the uh, nodes at the current level how do we process we just iterate till and uh, we reach the level size right we want to pop from the left to right right so that's why we use pop left uh, and then uh, we uh, since this is a current level uh, we append the uh, current level dot like we append this uh, nodes value to the current level and then we enqueue the children of the current node if only they exist so we just check for the no left and the right children so if they exist we just add to the queue here and uh, at the end of this level we just add the current level to the uh, result and then once the queue is empty we just return the result list with complexity analysis time complexity is o of n each node is visited only once so it's o of n where n is the number of nodes and then the space complexity is o of n the space required by the queue can be up to the maximum number of nodes at any level so where n represents the number of nodes in the binary tree demo on conclusion so got the code ready here let's try submitting this so yeah this accept the solution conclusion mastering the breadth for search approach for the binary tree level order traversal equips with the powerful tool for navigating the tree structures Effectively. This technique is not only fundamental for the tree related problems but also extends its utility to the various graph related algorithms where level by level explanation, exploration is crucial. Continue to practice and explore the different scenarios using the BFS to enhance your uh, ability to solve the complex problems efficiently and to deepen your understanding of algorithmic patterns in the computer science. Thank you for tuning into this sort of hack code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more cool tutorials and follow us. If you have any questions, please ask us about the video topics. Feel free to leave us in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.